Hey guys, this is Tali Berman, and we are here at truth number 10. We are halfway through. The different truths that I want to share with you, the truths that I have seen over the last 20 years of serving the autism community that really make a difference between thriving on your journey and really struggling. And I want to do my best to help both you and your child thrive. So here is truth number 10. You deserve forgiveness and compassion. You deserve forgiveness and compassion. Here's what I mean. Many parents I've worked with spend a lot of time regretting things that either they did or didn't do and then beat themselves up for it, give them a hard time for it and judge themselves for it over and over again about something they did or something they didn't do that they wish they would have done. And as you're listening, I'm sure you can relate to this in some way. Now, what I want to tell you is that whatever that thing is, whatever that thing is that you did that you wish you hadn't, something you said, something you did, or something that you didn't do that you wish you had, that you're focusing all your energy on, that you're carrying around like this burden, is a drop in the bucket compared to the endless devotion and commitment you have for your child a drop in the bucket. We're humans, after all. You deserve forgiveness and compassion, just like your child deserves compassion. You are no different. So today, right now, forgive yourself. I'd love to hear your comments below. What is one way that you maybe have been continuing to regret something? What is one way that you can forgive yourself? Do you agree that you deserve this kind of forgiveness and compassion. And the reason why I'm suggesting this is because it keeps you stuck. It's a heavy thing to carry. It's a heavy load. It's a heavy burden. And it keeps you stuck and distracted and paralyzed and it weighs you down. And we just don't have time for that. Your kids have too many needs and you have a life to live here. So the more that you can say, okay, I did that. I didn't do that. But look at all the other things I did. Look at this years and years of endless devotion. Then you can drop it and move on so you can help your child in a much lighter, energetic way. So scroll on down, I'd love to hear from you what your thoughts on this truth are, that you deserve forgiveness and compassion. Scroll on down, leave me your comments below.